Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the 235 member Michigan Marching Band. Band, take the field. Now, relax. Under the direction of Professor Jamie L. Nix, the Go ahead, Jamie. Fanfare. Shame. No fucking shame, nigga. Now let's relax. This ain't no HBCU, all right? Let's relax. It's no HBCU, all right? Well, job well done. Well deserved. Well earned. Okay, we're not about to listen to the Let's listen to the Let's listen to Hey, hey, hey. Hail to the bitches, all you big, bitch ass niggas. Y'all can fuck a fat Wolverine. You know how the song goes. That team downstairs in the basement. <laughs> how the second place feel? No one needs to rap, and I'll battle all you Ohio State niggas, man. I don't tell me. All right, enough of that, enough of that, enough of that. What's up, people, man? It's God's Face Podcast. Y'all know what time it is, man. Over rolling, man. The biggest day rolling, man. West Side Hero. Y'all know what time it is, man. I throw foes up. I don't throw it as hero. You know what I'm saying? Because everything's on our mind, man. We got to get it off. You feel me? Yo. Clearly, this is our second podcast. All right. I appreciate all the people that supported and, and checked out the first one. Um... I found out that I have a lot of ignorant fucking friends. Yeah, right? I have a lot of fucking ignorant friends. I have a lot of people who are just like, you know. But you know what, though? Ignorant friends are like really, really good. Because here's my theory. Obus Theory. We're going to have a section on this fucking podcast that says Obus Theory, by the way. Obus Theory. Let me shoot, shoot, let me shoot this out here, all right? In, in the universe. Ignorant friends are great therapy. All right? Friendships in general are great therapy. You know what I'm saying? I think group chats are some of the greatest, is one of the greatest inventions. You know what I'm saying? That's social media. You feel me? Like, if, like group chats can really heal or destroy niggas, but it can heal you too, though. You know what I'm saying? I know that I'm in uh, several group chats, but, you know, one main one that I'm in, and, um, yeah, man. <sighs> Very therapeutic. <laughs> they will quickly let you know who you are. Nothing, right? But here's the catch. <laughs> None of them niggas know shit. So, hey, you know, I'm the smartest thing in the fucking group chat. So, that's the key to being in group chats. You you should aim to try to be the smartest thing in the group chat. You should lay by everything that you're the dumbest one in the group chat. But you should aim to be the smartest one in the group chat. All right? So, yeah, man. This is the second fucking episode, all right? The first one, I had some kinks. I had to get out. Uh, I was yarn. I'm going to yarn now. I'm going to cough. <coughs> I'm going to cough on this one, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? I got some tea. I got some liquid hydration. Okay? I'm better prepared. I was slurring a lot of words last time. You know? You probably, you probably thought, you know, I was talking fat. You know? I got to learn how to be a big man on camera and in front of the mic. You know what I'm saying? This ain't like rapping. Rapping, play the play that shit. Play my, I ain't got to say, if I'm running out of breath, play that shit. The, the track will play the fucking vocal. This is acapella. This is raw thought. Thought pr provocative. Okay? Yeah, man. Already, man, I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling great. It's been a very interesting week. We have a I'm not going to hold you guys forever, all right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't, listen, I don't want to listen to fucking two hours of over all right? I can, but I don't want to. I'm a narcissist, so it's a little bit different. But what I'm saying is, as a new fan, I sure, I for damn sure don't want to listen to two hours of you niggas, all right? So I expect you guys want to listen to two hours of me, all right? Regardless, the point is I don't really want to. Regardless, the point is this. 
You know, it's been a very fucking interesting week, man. One of the main things I remember last week, man, everything was just, you know, just, 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 just target. I was really targeted. Okay. I was really fucking targeted. Now that, I'm, now that these emotions are coming out and coming back to memory, I was really fucking targeted, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, you think it's got on my ass about the Virgil Smith thing. I mean, come on, man. I, 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 I get it. <laughs> Virgil Oblah, right? Oblah. See, I'm sorry, bro. Like, let me just leave the Virgil thing alone, okay? Because I'm, I really not, I don't want to be disrespectful for one. We don't disrespect the, the past or the, or the deceased or the dead, whatever you want to call it. We don't do that. But, hey, man, I was trying to give the brother some love. The main thing I'm surprised you niggas never checked me on for real is that I skipped Young Dolph. R.I.P. to Young Dolph, man. What the fuck was I there? My mind was everywhere. You know, I, I shot at my homeboy Marty. You know, we talked about our, our, our DeWan uh, interview uh, or DeWan segment. I think you know what I'm talking about. The DeWan segment, we call me Barney. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I get it. I hear the jokes, okay? Best fucking believe, all right? I got jokes too. I keep telling y'all this. Y'all don't want to listen. But whatever. Okay? But I skipped Young Dolph. So, yeah, man. Big up to Young Dolph, man. What a um tragedy. And what of a... Man, though. Just a, just, just, just a, a fulfilled career, man. But more importantly, he was a family man. What touched me? You know, every time these people pass, man, the main thing that touches me the most, for real, for real, is being, fam being family men. You know what I'm saying? Being niggas who actually are there taking care of their families. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know what, dog? Y'all about to hate me. All right? <laughs> Hating section. Here we go. You know, let me tell y'all niggas something. I am all for my respect from people, especially men, coming from taking care of your responsibilities. You know what I'm saying? But! <laughs> but! I understand... Oh, nigga might disappear. Okay, all right. I shouldn't say disappear, but I'm just saying, I understand how a nigga say, fuck y'all niggas, I'm out this bitch. Fuck that bitch, I'm gone. I get it. And I ain't talking about all no crazy baby mama shit. I'm just talking about like, nigga, bro, we having kids, nigga, we ain't discussed having kids, ain't we been fucking? See, you niggas got it fucked up. If you put your dick in somebody, you're saying you ready for those consequences. Nah, not really. I don't have... Um, entanglements, you know, with ladies before, and was like, hey, man, you know, you know, you clearly know I don't want no situation with you, or you know what I'm saying? I clearly know that you don't want a situation with me, so what we doing here? You see what I'm saying? And with that being said, y'all gotta shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you niggas break the fucking law. You dig know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about the law of code of ethics, the street law. You know what I'm saying? The actually we can do it. it's a different law. It's like the uh the uh the sheet law. We're gonna call it the sheet law. Under the sheets law. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, when you get them sheets for somebody, man, you know what I'm saying? It's a law, it's a code that it's a respecting there. I'm expecting if we have an unprotected sex, you ain't bringing me no diseases. You know what I'm saying? I'm expecting, hey, if we're doing this, we are agreeing that we're not trying to have no baby, or we're agreeing that we are trying to make a baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm expecting things. Oh, I'm expecting that you're not gonna tell anybody that, you know, your dick is, you know. You know, I'm expecting things. You see what I'm saying? It's called sheet law, okay? Freak law. No, no, freak law. That's new, new, new name. Freak law. You bitches gotta follow the freak law. You can't be freaks. Then nine months later, want to be mamas? That's not fair. That's all I'm saying. It's not fair. So I understand a nigga who can say, "Man, fuck that shit," and get the fuck on. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Listen, man, these are just my thoughts and opinions. You can hate them or you can shove them up your ass. I don't give a fuck what you do with them. Just, just know that they're out here and existing, okay? And that's the thing about this world, man. We have different fucking people who believe in different fucking things, all right? Get used to it. But yeah, man, nah, I definitely, me personally, overrolling, I didn't even fucking introduce my name and then the podcast, anything. Goodness gracious, man. I'm sorry, God. I just, I'm just a fucking bladder mouth sometimes. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Let me take it in. Let me breathe. All right. So, yeah, man, these are the thoughts of, you know, these aren't always the thoughts of Ober Rowland, but these are the perspectives that Ober Rowland realizes and likes to share. 
You see what I'm saying? That's the difference between this type of podcast. It's God's favorite podcast. It's the oldest podcast in the world, man. It's I'm God's favorite. <laughs> no, no, no. God isn't favoring the podcast. He's favoring me. <laughs> this is just a podcast. You see what I'm saying? I'm God's favorite. What's up, y'all? This is Oprah Roller, man. The biggest thing, Roller, man. Uh, God's favorite podcast. Okay, I did say that at first, didn't it? Okay, whatever. I got two intros. This is what I'm talking about when I say work out the kinks, okay? This show is for me. It's not for you. It's for me. It's for me to learn and gain. You know what I'm saying? It's not for you, nigga. You're the guest. All right? All right. Just want you guys to know. Don't fucking think highly of yourselves, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, of course I'm capping. I love you guys. I'm glad you guys tuned in. I'm glad you guys fuck with me. But you're dealing with a narcissist here. So, hey, I'm not really a narcissist. Look, you're going to have a lot of back, a back and forth. This is like a tennis match of, of what this is because I'm the only one on the podcast right now. I don't have a co-host. I don't have fine bitches in the, in the back serving liquor. I'm not drunk. I'm off tea and water. Let me get my tea real quick. <sighs> Woo! Yeah, buddy. Yeah, man. So back to what I was saying, okay? Different perspectives for different folks. That's what this world is about. I can understand people who say, fuck that family. I can understand people who say, nah, man, I I, I can't live without my family. Me, over rolling personally, I'm a, I can't live without my family kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? But I understand perspectives. That's all I'm saying. What's up, man? Welcome to God's Favorite Podcast. Once again, it's the third intro I just gave y'all niggas. But, you know, interesting week, man. Very interesting week. You know, the main thing that happened this week, of course, Busy Bone. <laughs> Ohio, you jackoffs have fucked up again. You niggas are just losing. It's like Michigan has fucked up the whole trajectory of the pyramid of the of the cycle of the rotation of the whatever the fuck goes on. Whenever the sun wakes up in Ohio and goes to sleep in Ohio. University of Michigan has fucked that all up, all right? <laughs> you niggas don't know what's noon, what's ap what's morning, what's night. You niggas don't know shit right now, okay? Understandable. You know, very understandable, man. You, you, you guys are in turmoil, I like to say. You know, um, I don't know where your future holds. I don't know. I really know. Because Busy Bone acted a goddamn fool. Okay, at this versus battle. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. So, I got a busy bone story. Of course I do. I hope it has a story on everything, right? I'm low-key story man, all right? So, I'm not going to tell my busy bone story right now, but my point about saying that is, I have a reflection of how the of how that brother holds himself, how he carries himself, right? And just being, you know, a person of interest, you know, Bone Thugs and Harmony is an amazing group, legendary group, classic group, you know what I'm saying? I have my likings and I have done my uh, my awareness. I've given them my attention and my awareness, you know, throughout my life. Crossroads. Top 10 greatest song of all time. Hands down. Nothing else you can say about it. They were battling through six mafia. Icons. Memphis icons. I'm glad that they're really getting their just due. You know what I'm saying? But Memphis icons, bro. Like, hands down. This is my fear, man. It's fucking incredible. I, I, you know, just being in the industry and shit, you know what I'm saying? I know little quirks and shit about personalities, personalities and things like that. Working with those guys, too. <sighs> but, man, when they play Crossroads, 3 6 got to just sh shut the fuck up. I would, if I was 3 6 I wouldn't have even played a song when they played Crossroads. I'd have just sat on the fucking ground. All right? <laughs> Praise God. Said thank you. All right? But let's go back to this bone thugs, harmony, busy bone situation. Of course, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just big them up. I just told y'all, bone thugs and harmony, legendary group, three six mafia, legendary group. But let's be honest, guys. Nobody was watching this fucking verses. Nobody gave a fuck about this verses. I mean, me personally, I was looking at porn. I don't know what you niggas was looking at. Yeah, I mean, I was tapped out of it. I mean. I had no fucking anticipation for this versus at all. All right. Until I, actually, I was going on Twitter porn, porn. Twitter got some of the best porn, by the way. All right. Twitter, you're doing a fabulous job accepting all genders, all races, all aspects of business. 
got to clear that up because you niggas trapped up some bullshit in my name <laughs> for some of the words I just used right there. All right, <laughs> my point is this, bro. So look, my nigga, I was watching Twitter porn, scrolling. You know what's funny about Twitter porn? I'm going to tell you a quick story real quick. <laughs> so, <laughs> my Twitter porn, actually my porn type of interest, right? I'm not really, I've never really been a big porno guy. You know what I'm saying? My porn kind of interest started, started to, started to uh, gain um, 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 interest and, 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 and notoriety when I start looking for Making sure I wasn't on there. <laughs> All right. Now, I, that's a little bit too personal. I don't know if this came out of nowhere. Left field, whatever. I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm, look, I'm pretty sure I don't have, but you never know. A bitch might have a camera in the room. A bitch might have a, her laptop over. You know, hey, you know, my dog taught me the black tape thing over the laptop. I ain't going to say his name because you niggas know him. But hey, I'm moving along. You know what I'm saying? It's different tricks and trades. And niggas can pull off taping. You know what I'm saying? Fucking on something. Fucking on a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping the bean with you. Look, man. Guys, here podcast, man. It's all over book here. I'm just being honest with you. So I used to look, you know, I used to look through porn type. I, I hope I, oh, girl, I did. I could tell. I might have, uh, let me make sure I'm not on here because I would never put nobody on there personally. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know what another girl might do. You know what I'm saying? I've had some golden years in this thing, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Hey. Luckily, I have no footage out there. You know what I'm saying? I've scanned, I've scanned the earth. Trust me. I've seen it all. All right. My point is, I'm Twitter porn. Okay, whatever. Check it out. You know, what's going on? What's happening in the streets? What's new in today's world? Boom. Busy bone. Fighting versus ha ha ha. Group chat. Brrr, busy bone. Oh, shit. Y'all got to tune into this shit. My homie Matt. You know what I'm saying? He got a podcast too. Game day something. Don't know what the fuck it's called. Fuck Matt. Anyways, check this out. Nigga. Man hits up versus busy scrapping blah 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 blah. I'm like, all right, man, let me go check this shit out. Man, they got this shit on motherfucking. They got the camera so far back from the stage, and it's just like on hold. They playing fucking commercials. What's funny? They played a UFC commercial. Like you niggas, a hey, versus you niggas is petty. All right, that's what's going on. You petty, but of course, complex hit the Twitter immediately. Immediately, you know what I'm saying. Hit the Twitter with the footage. Boom. I check out the footage on Twitter. Like, oh, Busy is on bullshit. Now, here's the signs that I knew Busy might have been on some bullshit before the fucking verses even started. I seen a little promo ass niggas did, little video ass niggas did. Busy said, we about to fuck you devil worshiping motherfuckers up. I seen that video. I was like, oh, Busy on some bullshit. I don't know what this means. What's going on? You know, the locks really set the fucking tone. I blame Jada and the locks for this shit. You D-block niggas, you niggas are some assholes. You done turned the whole goddamn world into some fucking thugs. Or thinking that they thugs. I mean, I'm not talking about, I'm just saying in general. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, they, you know, they, they, they think that this shit is like a, a um, a cage fight. They, 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 you know, they think this thing is really a bad, nigga, you're playing old songs you released, and what was successful, what? I mean, the charts are the charts, the numbers are the numbers, they're not gonna change, my nigga, after this versus, okay, a hit song back then, uh, if it was the number one hit song back then, it was the number one hit song back then, it's just, it's what it is, it's just all about how I many, who got more, all right, so the whole, rah, 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 like, the locks, they had to do that, my nigga, you feel me, because, from a perspective of culture, you wouldn't have thought, you would have second-guessed that the locks played a big part of the culture, okay, of the streets, and they did, <laughs> you know what I mean, so that's really what the fuck the shit really came down to being, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, yeah, man, but you know, everybody wants to be, oh, this is going to be the best, I mean, we seen the Fat Joe and Ja Rule, <sighs> Fat Joe, shout out to my nigga Fat Joe, Ja Rule, keep going, bro, get your money, feed your family, I'll never be mad at a black man doing that for sure. But we're not going to see any bullshit like your songs is in the street going. <laughs> we, I mean, you know, we, you, you know, we know. I mean, you know, some of us was really there, right? Like, some of us was outside. I mean, me personally, you know what I'm saying? I was a baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I was outside. You know what I'm saying? For what, I, for, for what it was worth. But whatever. That's, you know, I'm not here to. My point is that. The verses are now very, very, very aggressive, especially when it comes to hip hop. Now the Shaq Khan shit, I heard she was drunk off her ass and shit. You know, 
I didn't see that one. I wasn't trying to see that one, personally. I mean, they're legends. I don't get me twisted. They're legends in their own right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who was that? Nita Baker or was it Shaka? Well, I, I forget. I don't even know who she was going against. I can't remember. Um, okay, whatever. My point is this. Comes on to Busy. He's on gangster tip. He's on gangster mode. Now, me, like I said, I met Busy before. Um, and then I, you know, I, you know, it was, like I said, being in the industry, I got stories. <sighs> busy, um, hmm. He's a man with some type of sense at this age. You know what I'm saying? He's a man with some type of peace, you know, at this age. And I think that Busy was being strategic. The problem with Busy is he's also a man that doesn't communicate that well. <laughs> from from my experiences, okay? From my experiences, I can tell, like, yeah, bro, you're not, you don't really communicate that well with people. People around you, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's what it kind of seemed like. Because it seemed like the, when he did that shit, the group was like, yo, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't none of you ugly ass motherfuckers gonna be mocking me. That was crazy to say. <laughs> Not granted. <laughs> I mean, it didn't fucking help. These things is kind of ugly. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, you know, it's, hey, man, look, man, other niggas get pussy too. Other niggas get money too. I'm not hating on that, but hey, if you're ugly, you're ugly. God's favorite podcast. Come on, man. We in the building right now. Check this out. So he called him ugly. What I didn't like about the brother was that he threw a bottle. Like, who, who the fuck are you, Chris Brown? What the fuck is going on? You threw a bottle and beef? That's when I said, oh, this is stage. Now, also, prior to him throwing that bottle, Juicy J said, suck my dick. You know that generation, when they hear shit like that, suck my dick, you got to jump. You know what I'm saying? So from that reaction, I think that was a real thing. I don't think that it was planned, but I think it was a real thing. You know what I'm saying? And um, he said, yeah, my bad. The funniest part of the fucking night for me was when, <laughs> when Busy, <laughs> before Busy came back out on stage, the fans were asking in the comments, like, yo, bring Busy Bum back. Swiss, where Biz at? Swiss, where Biz? And Swiss jumped on that bitch and said, I'm not fucking with that nigga, Biz. <laughs> that nigga just tried to bite me. <laughs> so, I mean, if I don't know if you niggas know any niggas who, like, bite niggas when they fight. But if you know <laughs> who bites niggas when they fight, bro, that's a very interesting, unique individual. You usually try to steer steer clear of that nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's a fucking biter. All right? Yeah, something ain't right up here with a nigga who tries to bite. Bite a nigga. All right? That's borderline insane. But whatever. Okay. So, yeah, man. You know, that. I mean, it was just, you know, it was a fucking shit show for Ohio. Okay? Up to the end. You know? Uh, they was playing. They played that fucking Crazy Bone and Chameleon song. I know it was a hit record with radio, but I think that was just money put in people's pockets. No one fucking like. I mean, I rode dirty. My I st I ride dirty my entire fucking life, okay. And I've never played that goddamn song in the car. So I mean, I just you know Crazy Bone. I fuck with you. You know what though? Hold on. Let me tell you something about God's favorite podcast. I made a vow to myself. I'm gonna say honest opinions about niggas. And I'm not gonna give them slack on the on the back end side. I fuck with you, no, I love you, man. I fuck with you, but this is this. Nah, nigga, I ain't never played that goddamn song. <laughs> That's it, nigga. It's what it is. So hey, busy bone, yeah, man. Um, I'll say this though, man. You know we can sit here and laugh at what busy did. That motherfucker turned that verses up. That might have been the top two verses of all time. That's the Gucci and Jeezy. Then it was busy and. I mean, it wasn't busy here. Yeah. Busy in 3 6 Mafia. Nah, it was, you know, Bone Thugs of 3 6 Mafia. I mean, think about it. Like, nigga, I fucking tuned in. I was into that shit. Like, nigga, okay. Yeah, this is going to be something. I fuck with Fat Joe heavy, so I was into his shit, too. I like the way uh, Fat Joe and uh, and um, black and Hispanic people, um, they like to overly sell shit. Like, <laughs> no one really gave a fuck about that Fat Joe, Ja Rule versus, for real. But the, the way that they sold it, they sold it like it was just the biggest event to have ever been invented. You know what I'm saying? And I thought that was very interesting because I, I peep shit like that because, you know, I have a rule when it comes to things, right? It was part of my, part of my, part of my, uh, uh, 
Okay, we're talking about me now, but whatever. Part of my uh, hindrance, you know, with uh, with uh, my musical career, right, was that people wanted me to sell shit. And I'm like, bro, I can't sell you what the fuck I'm saying, nigga. I say what I said in my raps, and you either believe it's true or you just don't. Some of you niggas look at this fucking podcast like that. Oh, that nigga, he's he, he's well he's well spoken. He can articulate. You know, he, he's not like a fucking, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I don't, you know, I could talk, I could communicate. So you might think that I'm, you know, not who I am, who I say I am, whatever. I've learned to not give a fuck about that. You know what I'm saying? Because me personally, I can't sell your shit, bro. Like, it just is what it is. What it is, what it is. Like, I mean, you know, good dope is going to sell itself. You know the rules. You know the fucking rules. I should never have to tell you, hey, man, this is the best dope in time, man. You got to trust me. Nah, nigga, this is the best shit. You want it? You don't? Go ahead, nigga. I s hit me up when you want some good shit. Oh, yeah, keep go ahead and fuck your life up on that bad shit over That's that. That's just my theory and my philosophy in life. So back to this, like the verses, you know, the way that Jonah was just selling it, like, you know what I'm saying? DJ Khaled, he's another person that sells things like he overly sells something. You know, he has a new podcast uh, that just dropped. Uh, it was pretty good, actually. Yeah, he got some good artists on there or whatever. Um, but the way that he's selling it. I mean, I, I get that. What I'm saying is that I wish I had somebody next to me, like a Diddy or something, that could sell it for me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I got my nigga Tone. He, you know, my nigga Tone just put me together and shit. You feel me? But, you know, just somebody a little bit stronger, like a little bit more focused. You know what I'm saying? Because we had, you know, we had our whole history thing going on. So, whatever. But, yeah, man, God's favorite podcast right now, man. I'm not going to hold y'all up too long, man. Just interesting week, man. Ohio, you took the biggest fucking loss. Of the fucking month, probably, you know, and it's just a down a downward spiral from now. Like you, you niggas are playing Utah. You niggas are playing Ohio State. You're playing Utah in the what the Tyler Perry presents bowl or some shit. I can't remember what fucking bowl you playing in, but Ohio State, yeah. And I listen, all you Ohio State fans that are hit to my shit, especially you group chat niggas, and you niggas have been talking crazy online. I know everything about you. First off, that's the first thing. That's the first fuck up. See, the thing about Obi is. You never want to fuck with Oba if Oba knows about you. If Oba knows you. The best bet is you niggas that don't know me are the best niggas who can attack me. Because I don't know you niggas. And then you niggas can fry the fuck out of me. But I'm going to fry you back. My point is that this. My point is that this. Yes, I said that. That was intentional. Okay? Ohio State plays Utah. Okay? I know you Ohio State fans that follow me and, you know, people who I root for. I'm still Team Go Sparty. I'm not, like, you know, I had some niggas in the chat tell me, I, my loyalty, my loyalty is off. I said, nigga, these nuts, <laughs> these nuts in your mouth, bitch. Are you crazy? My loyalty's not off. I'm Team Sparty, all right? I When I was a kid, I used to tell my dog, when I was a kid, you know, my pops coached the cast. I was a kid, you know, we had two cast set players that were, like, phenomenal back then, nigga, Clarence Williams. Uh, Dupree B. We had a few cats that played over phenomenal back there. Uh, Rush, the coach over there at Cash right now. You know, I, you know, I'm hip. Come on, man. I, I remember all this shit. I was a kid. I used to. These niggas are like my. These niggas are like my fucking my, my my superheroes. You know what I'm saying? My point is this: Clarence Williams went off to Michigan University, of Michigan. You know what I'm saying? He played backup running back, but he was a motherfucking phenomenal running back in high school. Like number one player in the, in the state, I believe, in high school. If I'm if I'm not mistaken. Regardless, he went to the University of Michigan. He sat back to, um, I want to say Tyrone Wheatley, or he sat, he, he was the number two, but he won the Rose Bowl with uh, Charles Woodson, right? Okay. I was a Michigan diehard fan from there, you know what I'm saying? But then I started playing ball, you know what I'm saying, years later, and I had an incident up in Michigan. I'm not even going to speak on that right now. I don't want to even bring that energy to this podcast right now of that. But I had a little incident up in Michigan, up in Ann Arbor. And it was just disappointing. And from that day on, I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and look at this other squad over here. Because at the time period, the other squad was actually University of Michigan, uh, Michigan State, that is. Team Sparty was was trying to reach out and recruit. You know, they had a black coach, okay, at the time. Uh, uh, Bob, uh, what was Nick, uh, what was dog name? I can't remember right now. But anyways, Bobby something. Anyways, my point is, man, hey, you know, Team Sparty. I put on that green and white. You know, I went to cast, green and white. I said, hey, I might as well stay with the green and white. Shit, I look good in that green and white. You feel me? 
That's just what it was, man. I ended up not playing football there or whatever. I ended up going to a team in Ohio. How ironic. I talk shit about you Ohio niggas. And I'm really an Ohio nigga. <laughs> I'm really a part-time, two-year, three-year Ohio nigga by name self. I love Ohio, man. I just, I love talking shit about y'all too. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But yeah, man, you know, Ohio, you had a shitty week, man. Ohio State, now you're about to play fucking um, Utah. I don't know what the prize is. Um, what the fuck is, is in Utah? I know corners in Nebraska. So, <laughs> I'm sure Utah, what do you need to have? Uh, reservations? I don't know. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I mean, be honest. Reservations? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about Indian reservations, like Amer Native American reservations. Um, so, I mean, what else is out there? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good luck with that game, guys. If I was you, I'd start uh, my training camp, bitch, for 2022, nigga. How about that? Start your fucking training camp, all right? Because you niggas got a long time coming, nigga. All right? Yeah, go blue. Anyway, what else we going to talk about today, man? Um, What's coming up? Oh, Christmas is coming up. You know, um, yeah, I got Christmas gifts for the kids and shit. I had a very interesting day today with my daughter. <sighs> She's going through this phase now. She just turned two where she likes to shit and she notices that she shits. I guess she's just not learning that, oh, shit, I eat food and it comes back out my ass. And, oh, I can pick it up and grab it because it's right here in this fucking bag that's around my goddamn waist. So, yeah, you know, my daughter, she likes to fucking uh, pick up her shit and then hand it to me as if, like, here you go. Don't hear you go, me motherfucker, all some, with a piece of shit. What's wrong with you? I've never done no shit like that. I don't care how old I was. I've never picked up shit and gave it to somebody. She's a very rude little, little girl. I'm not even, re re I mean, like, it's, it's getting to, I'm not really even worried about niggas talking to her, like, in, in, in the future, because she's going to hold the fuck out of y'all. She's going to give you shit. <laughs> That's, she's, I'm just, I, she's warning me now. Daddy, don't worry about it. I'm about to get these niggas shit. They ain't not going to fuck, nah, it ain't going to be like that. All right, cool. Because she handed me shit today. I, 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 I mean, I took it, because I don't want the shit to stay in her hand. Shit, I really, I'm just glad she's not eating the shit. All right? Now that, I have to take it to a doctor. All right? Because something's going on. But yeah, you know, she handed me shit. I took the shit. So now I got a shitty hand. She got a, a shitty hand. Okay? And then I look. She, she points over to the fucking, to the left. And in the corner of her fucking crib, she has a shit pile. She has a pile of shit. A little shit, little shit pellets. I'm like, well, what the, are you collecting your shit? And say, what, are you saving me shit, shit piles to clean up? Instead of just using the fucking potty? She knows what potty is. She knows how to say, da da, potty. Okay. Let's go. I'm gonna put you on the toilet. Do it. What the fuck is going on? So I'm going through that right now with my daughter. My son, he just sits there and laughs at the whole shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, it's really a shit show. Right now, okay, in the rolling residence, because it's like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I need help, <laughs> okay? I need help. I need advice, all right? You know, my baby mama, she, she, she's doing her thing, getting to her cheese. So, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to be the good, you know, co-parenting thing and just, you know what I'm saying, be there and, you know, but uh, uh, I need help. I need fucking help. Y'all got to send some comments, some, some, some fucking ideas, something, all right? Because I'm not going to be collecting shit all month. I'll tell you that shit right now. She got another thing coming. All right? Eventually, I'm, she going to be picking up her own shit. I'm telling you right now. All right? There's only so much a, a black man an American can take. That's all I'm saying. So, yeah, you know, whatever, bro. Episode 2, God's Favorite Podcast. I said that like five times. PSL is still a fucking label. Yeah, we just dropped. Um, I'm about to drop my artist. I didn't say his name right last episode. I, this is what I'm talking about. Last, my first episode was just, you know, it was nerves. It was, uh, look, look the, the camera was even, it's a better 4K camera now. It's just a lot of things going on better now. You know what I'm saying? You can kind of see the background a little bit, you know what I'm saying, for what it is. Whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. The point is me. I'm the fucking thing you need to be paying attention to. You know what I'm saying? And my point is, hey, PSL, the label, um, a cousin from Southfield. Yeah, that's the artist's name. I missed that artist. I signed a cousin from Southfield, and he's about to drop a project that's so dynamic, 
I mean, it's never been done before. I'm telling you right now, you've never seen or heard no shit like this before. And it's just dynamic. And it's just peaceful music, man. It's just peaceful raps, peaceful music. You know what I mean? If you're looking for the rah-rah, this ain't, this, ain't this ain't for you. You know what I mean? If you're looking for some zen in your life, if you're looking for some, uh, some, 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 some uh, recollection in your life, hey, man, some resurrection in your life, hey, man, a cousin from Southfield, he's about to drop one of the craziest projects. You know what I'm saying? We don't do this shit for the numbers. We do this shit for the culture. You know what I'm saying? But PSL, we're the biggest brand in the land. And I'm just trying to tell you, bro, this is a special thing we got going on over here. Uh, VIX is dropping next. Yeah. Top of the year. Shit, I even got some shit that's about to drop. Shout out to Ethica. I don't know if you niggas know. You know, you know what I learned? I'm like, I mean, listen. By all means, I know who the fuck I am in the city. All right? And I know who the fuck I'm not in the city. All right? By all means. <sighs> And how do I say this? Um, niggas don't know how to rap. Like, I mean, like, people trip over shit I be saying online or shit I post online. I had somebody tell my baby mom. Okay, okay, well, catch out the bag. I had somebody tell my baby moms that I fucking, what did he say? I fucking, uh, 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 I don't know what the fuck you call it. Degrade women or some shit or like I I'm a chauvinistic or is that is that what it's called? I don't know what the fuck it's called you know what I'm saying whatever where the fuck this nigga labeled me as off of my fucking Twitter like nigga it's Twitter you know what I'm saying you're supposed to degrade people and be racist and you know say all type of obnoxious shit that I'm never going to apologize for I'm never going to get canceled because I'm never apologizing I'm not how the fuck you get canceled I'm not starting with you niggas. I'm not playing with you niggas. If anything, you're going to throw fuel on the fire and it's going to get worse. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. That's just, that's where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but it's Twitter, bro. Like, what the fuck? You think I'm supposed to be on Twitter? Fucking, sedit like, what the fuck you want? Tw like, what, like, I, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm lost for words. I can't even speak. I'm lost for fucking words. The fucking audacity. Of a nigga to say I'm a chauvinist, I'm a chauvinist, I'm a chauvinist. I don't even know the fucking word. I'm so not it. You know what I'm saying? I love women. I respect women. I especially love black women. And I'll say that again. I especially love black women, nigga. So any women that don't like that, I especially love black women. <laughs> okay, but I love women, I respect women. And if anything about me, I'm more so. Oh, I'm not gonna talk about me. Fuck that shit. Fuck you, nigga. Believe what you want to believe, nigga. Show this or not. Whatever, nigga. I right, fuck your bitch. <sighs> All right. Now that that's fucking said, uh, what the fuck was we talking about before then? Uh, I don't remember because I don't have a fucking co-host, so nobody's here to fucking sit me down and oh, remember we were talking about this and that and help me out and shit. I will be looking for a co-host soon. I'm just trying to find the perfect match. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just pick one of my friends because. You know, it's one of my friends. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to pick somebody that's like, it's gonna. I want to make it dynamic. Otherwise, I just, I'll just be by myself. Now, I'll do some shit with my friends, but for this right here, I want this to be dynamic. Like, I want this to intentionally be dynamic. So, episode two, man, it is what it is, man. It's up in the air right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, thank y'all for tuning in, man. Uh, please tune in some more uh, for more episodes we got coming in. We we coming twice a week. All right. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to bring out this, you know, the newest flavor, the newest content, the newest opinions, the raw, the honesty, you know what I'm saying? Um, the raw, the honesty, uh, uh, just, 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 just topics of the culture, you know what I'm saying? And I'm what the streets say, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm really outside right now, you know what I'm saying? You know, we, we really, you know, you know, if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody, man, that's been, uh, like I said, man, showing love, checking in, tapping in. And uh, I'll see y'all next week, man. Let's go. God's favorite.